Welcome to the African Leadership Series, where we bring you great inspirational speeches from African leaders. Good evening, African diaspora. The more I begin to understand not only our Africa, but the more I begin to understand us as black people, why is it that we are the most disrespected people on earth, no matter where you find us? on this globe. They often wondered why these black people are so smart and so indestructible. Maybe it's because of that third eye. No, it is the melanin. That's what makes us special. That's what makes us the origin of humanity, which is our mother. Our motherland, Africa the continent with everything and anything the world needs. The continent that everybody is going to for their needs. But the continent that we, the children of Africa, are busy running away from. That keeps me up every night. The more I try to dig deeper in understanding as to why Africa is where Africa is today, I couldn't help but find myself repeatedly going back to the beginning to say, how did we end up where we are as Africans? How did we get here? Not only as black people, but as Africans. The colonizers started coming to Africa, starting with the Portuguese, followed with slavery. But by 1884, after they had been haphazardly going into our continent, looting from the Africans. Pretty soon they started looting from each other the loot that they had looted from the Africans. <laughs> and before you know it, they were killing each other. And they were getting ready to have a war, a European war on the African soil. So Bismarck, the chancellor of Germany at that time, called his sidekick Leopold, King Leopold of Belgium, said, listen, we got a problem. We're getting ready to kill each other and have a European war in Africa. Why don't we call all the colonizers? That was France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, and of course, the mighty Britain. Let's all meet in Berlin, Germany, and strategize on how we can organize ourselves so we can effectively see to it that Africa and her children are forever defeated and dominated. They proceeded to chop up our Africa into tiny little countries that we know of today. Economies that are designed to see to it that they will never make it on their own. And in the event those small economies do make it, they are easy to destabilize. Who, in their right mind, puts a country together like Gambia, Burundi, Togo, Djibouti, Lesotho, Swaziland, and many, if not all, African countries. Each one of them was given the same sovereignty as China, as India. If this world was to be a boxing game, you see, in boxing, they understand that heavyweights belong in the heavyweight boxing ring. Middleweights in the middleweights. Lightweights and wannabes in their rings. Wannabes are way out there. You don't take a wannabe boxer and throw them in the same ring with the heavyweight. <laughs> but what's being done to our Africa, let's start negotiating 
It's country against country. Countries, please stand up. Little Gambia stands up. And Gambia is supposed to negotiate with China. Lesotho is supposed to negotiate with India. Swaziland must jump in with the United States. Djibouti, you must go in. You see, the Europeans realize as individual European countries, they can make it. So they come together as the European Union. So they negotiate as a bloc. So yeah, Djibouti, you go in with EU. And when the African countries lose, the world stands back and says, oh, what's wrong with you, African countries? Why aren't you able to, uh, to manage your, your people? How can that be? What is the parity? African countries are wannabe boxers who are constantly being thrown into the heavyweight boxing ring and we are getting our rear ends kicked day in and day out. Fast forward 2019, nothing has changed. The strategy that was put in place to see to it that Africa and her children are forever defeated and dominated remains alive and well. And yet in our minds we tend to think Berlin Conference is a thing of the past when my brothers and sisters Berlin Conference is alive and well. And allow me to take it home for you. Have you ever wondered why intra-Africa trade is sitting at 18%? I'll tell you why. We have 43 different currencies on the continent. It's difficult to trade with each other because of the currencies. It's easier for us to exchange with the US dollar, with the euro, than with each other. Why is that, Berlin Conference? It's easier for Mozambique to send Mozambican oil outside Mozambique to Europe and everywhere else. Just so Zimbabwe needs dough can buy it from across the oceans. It's easier for a company that's manufacturing the best ceramic tiles in Africa, in Egypt. That company sends its tiles to Italy only for the Africans to turn around and buy the same tiles 20, 30 times the cost. Why is it that we are not trading with each other is because starting in South Africa, there's a road that goes up until maybe two, three kilometers from the border with Botswana. And that same road picks up two, three kilometers into Botswana. And if only we could connect the two, but Berlin Conference said, no, you're different. You're another country. You can't look at it this way. If we were to connect all the existing power lines in Africa today, we would provide electricity to 30 million more people. And in the process, we would save $20 billion. But the reason we can't connect the power lines, thanks to Berlin Conference. We're different countries. We can cross that border. Why are our children crossing the Mediterranean in search of nothing? It's because little Gambia can only create so many jobs. And a young man in Gambia, Gambia which is surrounded by Senegal, cannot go to Senegal and look for a job. Thanks to the Berlin Conference. Question then becomes, 
If you look at all the issues we are dealing with today in Africa, one by one, every one of them relates back to the Berlin Conference and our inability to work together as one continent, one Africa, speaking with one voice. Thanks to Berlin Conference. If you like informative and educative videos about Africa, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get our latest videos.